What's up YouTube, Oliver from Tech TV here. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can run Windows apps on OS X completely free of charge using an open source program called WineBotler. If you've ever heard of Crossover, WineBotler is very similar to Crossover, except Crossover is a more highly polished version, but it uses the same Wine open source code. If you need high performance for things like games, I'd recommend you try Code Weaver's crossover first. Although I still think give Wine Bottler a shot because for me it's fine and if you just find it isn't for you, then like I mentioned you might need crossover. However, I find Wine Bottler is fine for what I use it for. I'm now going to show you a couple of applications that I have installed using Wine Bottler and um, you can see what the performance is like. So I'm going to open up Circuit Wizard first. Uh, it does take a little while initially to launch the applications, I must admit, but once they're launched, they're perfectly okay. Okay, so here's Circuit Wizard. It took a couple of seconds to load, but um, it has come on eventually. Televent the gallery, I'm just going to do some very quick things just so you can see what it's like for performance. I'm just going to very quickly add some things in here. You know, just, it's just very random. We'll head over to actually the PCB layout might be better. Head over to real world. Head over to say power supplies. And choose an AA battery holder. Just put a couple of resistors there. Just to kind of see kind of get the idea. I'm not actually building the circuit here, I'm just so you can kind of get the idea. Anyway. I'm going to now move on to the second application. So as you can see, it's a bit slow when it's loading, but anyway, I'm going to close this and head over to the next application. I don't want to save any changes. 2D Design Version 2 Demo. This is quite a good program. Um, it's just a demo. I think it's mainly an educational program. I don't think it's something you can actually buy unless you're a school, but I do think it's a good program. It allows you to draw 2D shapes and nets of objects and you can print them and send them if you've got laser cutters and things that's why it's more able to schools you can send them plotting machines and, and do CNC output and things like that just draw some shapes on here but randomly just going to draw a couple of lines and as you can see it's pretty good, it isn't too slow when you do things like this. You know, it's quite useful. Now those are the only two programs I've been using, but I'm going to show you how you can install a program. Okay, so the program which I've just decided to download is 2D PCB, which is from Techsoft, the makers of 2D Design. It's just a demo, um, just to show you basically how to install a program using Wine Butler. It basically is a bit like 2D design, but it's just for designing PCB layouts, but it's nowhere near as good as circle, is it? Anyway, let's begin. We open up the downloads folder and, and browse to find the file. So I've just downloaded, and as you can see, it has the wine butler icon here to 2D PCB demo. And if I click onto this, it'll launch wine butler. But it'll ask me what I want to do. As you can see, it asks me, would I like to run it directly? Or would I like to convert it to a simple OS X application bundle, bundle with WineBotler? I recommend converting to a simple OS X application bundle with WineBotler. Then press on Go, and WineBotler will open. And as you can see, it asks you where do you want to install it. It asks you, sorry, that it doesn't. It asks you where the install file is here. And I, I just pick new prefix. You don't need to enter anything here. You can just click on Install. Give it a name. Let's just put PCB. PCB demo, I'm just going to install it at the desktop and then press save. And basically, this process doesn't take too long. As you can see, it's the wine configuration is being updated and it's creating the app. And basically, in a few minutes or maybe a few seconds, it shouldn't take too long, the install shield wizard should pop up for PCB, 2D PCB. Um, and ask me to follow the instructions to install it. Once I've done that, it'll run normally. 
Okay, so here's the install shield wizard. I'll just very quickly run through this. Just press next. I don't want any of these installed. I'm just installing it. Ask to see where you want to install it to. Just leave this the same. Press next. And then press next. It shouldn't take that long. It's been successfully installed. I've told it not to install any add ons because I didn't need it to. Press close. And now it'll ask you which file do you want to run when you double click on PCB demo. You need to pick the right file, this is quite important. It'll be this file with the, uh, the .exe extension and it'll be the one in the uh, program files. If you pick the wrong one it won't launch the program correctly and then just press on OK. Prefix created successfully, press OK again and now it's installed. Close this and as you see, when I click on it, it changes the icon to the 2D PCB icon, and you know that it's worked. Double click it just to show you what it's been launched. And the wine configuration is being updated. This will normally only happen the first time you relaunch the program, which shouldn't happen that often. And as you can see, we'll have the program. It's got a very similar layout to PCB, um, 2D design, sorry. Obviously, instead of having the lines, you can draw PCB tracks. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to this channel for lots more videos coming your way very shortly. And have a very nice Christmas and New Year. Bye for now.